All right, so we get a ton of requests about how our solar works, and a common question is whether or not we can run air conditioning. Uh, that gets met with a lot of people online that seem to say it's not possible to run air conditioning in an RV with solar, so I kind of want to shoot a quick video to help debunk those myths. Uh, we just set out on a 30 to 60 day trip around America and uh, almost all of it is going to be boondocking. Uh, we're currently in Oceanside, California, uh, actually at an RV park, uh, but we're not plugged in. Uh, we just wanted to come down here and visit the coast before we took off and there really aren't any places for a, a big RV like ours to park near the ocean, so this is where we stopped. So right now, uh, behind me you'll see, got my computer, 38 inch monitor plugged in, got a 50 inch TV running, a bunch of lights. We actually have an air conditioner running. I assume you can probably hear that. I hear some air coming through. Um, we also have a residential fridge over here that is, you know, could be running, may not be. I'm not sure if it's on or not. Here is our temperature set to cool, set at 73 degrees. And over here, by the sleeping dogs, we've got our control panel, which, there you go, we're using about 1,540 watts, making uh, 1,900, uh, something like that. We're basically batteries full, um, currently not losing any power. Um, I can show you guys the solar panels real quick. I have to climb up the ladder while I'm using the camera, so I have to bear with that for a second. But you absolutely can run solar with air conditioning. So you can probably hear. Those are our panels. Let me get down here real quick. And I will show you where we have all the batteries. So give me just a second here. This is our storage area. So we've got 12 Battleborn batteries, kind of in a custom box I made. Then we've got two Victron 3000 watt inverters, a solar charge controller, and a uh, Victron Orion 24 to 12 volt converter over there so that we can run all the 12 volt portions of our RV. Now, that said, being that we're in an RV park, I imagine a lot of you will think that we're plugged in. We're not. We obviously could. It doesn't really matter here. But uh, here is our plug, you can see. And then we'll show you, this is our pedestal. So we're not plugged in. We've got water run just so we can take long showers and cable right into there. But as a whole, we don't really need power. Um, I'm sure along portions of our trip, we will. Uh, we do carry a small, 2000 watt generator um, we've actually owned it for a year and a half and haven't actually ever started it so my guess would be that when we get down to the southern states where there's a lot of humidity we'll be running that generator probably in the evening so we can keep up with uh, the humidity that we can't stand we're starting in reno nevada where we live and we're working our way all the way over to tampa florida so that probably will become a problem, but as I said, um, you absolutely can run the air conditioning on it. And this will kind of maybe show you. So you'll notice right here, once that comes in, we've got no power coming in from the shore. We're using 1,530 watts and making 1,900. Now, as soon as I come over here and shut off one of the air conditioners, or the only one that's running. So give that just a second. You'll probably hear it shut off. Yep, there it went. And now we're using 300 watts, which is, I can hear the fridge running. So I don't know if you can hear it, but we've got a full size fridge that's currently on, and that is where most of our power comes from. So once you do this again, 
put it on auto high. You'll, you'll see that power ramp in as it starts coming on. And the solar will automatically start making more power. It normally would be making more power already, but our batteries are already essentially full. So uh, it seems like the fan is just running right now. It might be just because I just shut the compressor off. It might be on a, oh, I think it, that's gotta be because of our um, micro air easy starts. They've got a five minute uh, timer that won't allow the compressor to, to restart that fast. So that'll take five minutes before that comes back on. But as a whole, you absolutely can run your air conditioner on solar in an RV. You just need a really big roof. We have 12 210 watt panels. Uh, we also have the 12 Battleborn batteries that gives us time to run them when, uh, when uh, the solar is not producing power or at nighttime. So we should be good for running one air conditioner for upwards of 10 hours or so if we didn't have power from the panels. So if you have any questions, let me know.